And with hurricane season approaching, there's a new concern about the potential spread of the coronavirus. Researchers here in Florida are concerned about the accidental discharge of untreated wastewater. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bo Zimmer explains how scientists are now taking water samples to determine potential risk and even estimate how many people are sick across South Florida. It's an overcast but beautiful evening near Benty Davis Beach. But researchers want to know if bodies of water like Tampa Bay could be contaminated with COVID-19. Here in Miami-Dade, they've been doing some studies of the salt water in the beaches to make sure that they're not contaminated. Researchers across the state are now keeping a close eye on what happens to Florida's raw sewage and where it ends up. But our wastewater is chock full of virus. Miami-Dade County started testing their water back in March using the concentration of virus in the sewage to estimate how many people might be sick. But it's not the treated water that Dr. Marty is worried about. It's untreated wastewater from broken sewer lines or sewage overflow during major rain events like hurricanes that could be most dangerous. So long as we have COVID circulating in our population and people using the sewer systems to relieve themselves, of course they would, um, that wastewater is going to have virus in it. Between 2015 and 2017, the city of St. Petersburg struggled with accidental releases of raw or partially treated sewage. And in other cities, Bay Area beaches are occasionally shut down over high levels of fecal bacteria. And while UV light from the sun is believed to kill the virus, it doesn't happen right away. And Dr. Marty says COVID-19 has no problem with salt water. In fact, our own blood is a very salty environment and it certainly has no problem surviving there. Having fresh sewer water coming out while you're there, sure, that's a risk. Besides Miami, Houston is also testing its wastewater. 10 Tampa Bay is trying to find out if any of our local wastewater departments are testing for contamination and if precautions are being taken. And by the way, the city of St. Petersburg has gotten its problems with overflowing sewage under control. Well, now for a deeper dive into the risks of coronavirus transmission. First, it's true the virus has been found in raw sewage, but there's no evidence that a person who's been exposed can get sick. Coronavirus has also been found in body fluids like urine and feces, but again, there is no evidence it can be transmitted that way. Scientists believe the virus moves from person to person through close contact, mostly in respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. 